welcome to Fanny Magnet. Right now in this video I'll show you how you can install Windows 10 on this Raspberry Pi. I have Raspberry Pi 2, a standard Android charger and a memory card of 8 GB. So the first thing I will install Windows 10 on this memory card then I will plug this memory card here in Raspberry Pi like this and the Raspberry Pi is good to go to work with Windows 10. So let's go to the computer and let's see how we can do that. Right now I have connected SD card in my laptop and as you can see that I have set up of a noobs okay. Now with the help of this noobs you will able to install Raspberry Pi, Jesse, you will able to install Windows 10 IoT on your Raspberry Pi 2. Now the process is very simple. The first thing you have to format your SD card. Here I'll go and I'll click on format and click on start. Here we go. So I have formatted the SD card now and you just have to copy this noobs and paste it here. Then just extract all the files what you have in noobs. So as you can see that these are the list of files which I got when I extracted noobs okay. Now you don't need a noobs in this SD card so you can delete it. Here we go and uh, in case you know if this process uh, sometimes do not work that time you use the SD card to format your SD card. This is SD card formatter. The link is in below description from where you can download this SD card formatter. Uh, because many times when you format and when you keep these files of noobs in your SD card, it do not work. So make sure that that time you use the SD card. And once you are done, just eject the SD card. Here we go, like this. And do not try to pull the SD card, okay? Just ex eject it. There we go. Now I'll take you to Raspberry Pi and we'll install the SD card and we'll take a look how it goes. So as you can see that the SD card, the required files I have saved in this SD card. So first I'll plug this SD card in my Raspberry Pi. Here we go, like this. And then we'll connect the RJ45 here. This is for my USB, you know, wireless keyboard and mouse, like this. And here is the HDMI. I always recommend that you plug the you know the power connector for Raspberry Pi in the end of the you know once you are connected everything in last okay. So I'll connect my the power now. So I'll connect the power now. Here we go. So let me take you to the screen now. So I'm connecting the power to my Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look. So this is the first screen you get. Now on this screen it will ask you which operating system you want to install on your Raspberry Pi. This is the best part of Noobs that you don't have to download the individual application and you can you can get a bunch of application when you just copy paste the files which are stored on Noobs. So I'll select, you can scroll it down and you can see that I have Windows 10 IoT code. Uh, important thing is you need to make sure that the internet is connected to the Raspberry Pi because this is going to download the setup files from the internet itself. So my internet RJ45 is connected to my 
to my Raspberry Pi. Now I'll click on install. Now it will ask that, you know, now it will say that uh, it will override the, you know, the SD card and so on. So just click on yes and the process continues. So let's wait now. Now here we just have to select the default that is core RTM release and click on OK. This generally take like you know depend on the internet speed but you can say like 15-20 minutes. So now as you can see that the OS installation has been completed so we just have to click on OK now and the computer will restart now. So that's the Windows 10 logo which is loading right now. So as you can see that this, uh, we have successfully installed Windows 10 IoT Core on Raspberry Pi 2. Now here if you go here you will get a command line by which you can uh, you know write a command for your Windows 10. You need to understand here you don't get graphic user interface. It means that you will not have that kind of screen what you have with Windows 10 basic or you know the the version which you are using on your laptop or computer here you get a command line you have to use the command line in order to process anything so right now I'll take you to my uh, computer my laptop where, where we, can, we will try to you know uh, get connect with this Raspberry Pi and we'll do some uh, we will type some command and we'll see how it is going on uh, right now I've taken the picture of the IP address which will help me to connect to Raspberry Pi using a putty. So let's go to the laptop and let's take a look there. So the Raspberry Pi is connected to the other computer and I'm on my desktop machine and this is the IP address for the Raspberry Pi that is 192.168.1.130 colon 8080. You get this IP address when you first time boot your Raspberry Pi which you uh, you know the first screen you get you get the IP address at that time so I always recommend that you take a picture of that so that next time whenever you want to make any changes or you want to play it around it will help you to un you know remember what what is the IP address and so on so generally when I when you go to this IP address uh, you get a user you it asks you for username and password so that's the default username that is administrator and the password is like this here we go that's the password so I'll click on OK now as you can see that my Raspberry Pi it gives it is giving me all the information about my Raspberry Pi and so on if I go to home it tells me what what are you know if I, I can change the username password device name and so on and there are many app you know functions you can control to your Raspberry Pi from here and also there is one more other way by which you can control your Raspberry Pi so let me show you that you just have to copy this IP address and you can use a putty and this kind of application for that
and click on open so it is asking that login as so you have to do the same thing just copy the username that's right hit enter now it is asking for the password so this this is the password that is P A S S W zero R D you need to understand when you type the password it do not give you that you know it doesn't show you that you are typing but it does type it so just under you know just take care of this thing now as you can see that I'm connected to my now as you can see that I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi Windows 10 IOT using a putty so this is a uh, you know this is kind of a command thing where you can type the command and you can understand what are the users name you have and so on let's type net users so you can see that I have a username that is administrator default account guest and so on so this was a simple video by which uh, you know you will you can install uh, you know Windows 10 IoT on your Raspberry Pi but you need to understand one important thing that right now till now your windows 10 iot has not come up with the graphic interface okay so most of the thing you can only do using a command prompt so this was a short video on how you can you know install windows 10 iot on a raspberry pi and if you think this video was worth this video was helpful hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel i do make such kind of uh, this kind of videos i have put all the links in the below description for downloading noobs and so on so do check the description below in order to go to and download the noobs and sd for matter and if you think this video was worth this video is helpful do hit the like button and for more such videos subscribe to the channel and as always thank you for watching the video have a wonderful day